I should not really not be talking to you guys. <laughs> it's uh, I'll go to hell. It's a sin. So that's why right now I'm gonna avoid eye contact at all costs. <laughs> Hey guys, what's up? So recently I did a video of me going bald and me purposefully shaving my head and uh, I went out and did some infields. I went out and did some approaches and I shot them. So if you haven't watched those videos, then take a moment to go back and uh, find those videos and watch them. They will be on my channel and the link is also going to be in the description. So first of all, go watch that video and then come back to this video. So I did this experiment for all men who are going bald or who are already bald or who are losing their hairline or who are losing their hair. Also, I wanted to make this video for all men out there who are struggling with their looks, who are insecure about their looks, who think that uh, just because they are not looking amazing that they can't get girls or they can't get good at game or you know their dating life or their social life is completely destroyed. And that is not true and I literally did that. I literally did this experiment to prove that that is a myth to prove that looks don't matter as much as you think. In this video, I want to be totally honest and I want to be very upfront with you and I want to share my experience of going bald and I want to share what I went through and what I felt when I shaved my head and then I went out. So to be honest, as uh, you know, you might have noticed that right now I'm also bald and I'm also going out these days and doing game alone or with somebody else or I'm also coaching people but the thing is, right now I'm not feeling much difference. But when I went bald for the first day, the first one or two days were really hard. We went out there and I really wanted to just get myself into the zone, get used to uh, being bald and then meeting people, get used to my own new identity. So it was not very smooth. I felt a lot of social anxiety. I felt that a lot of people were judging me. I felt that I was missing something. I felt that there was something wrong with me. Okay, I did not feel amazing. I did not feel very good for the first, you know, one or two days when I went out and you are going to see in fields of me going out and, you know, doing bad game, not being in the flow, not being in the momentum, not being in state and then getting rejected. So that also happened. What you often see in our infield videos and in a lot of other dating coaches in field videos is you just see one side of the coin. You just see what is happening on the stage. You never see what is happening actually behind the stage. You never see our struggle. You never see what we went through or what we go through on a daily basis to get you some in fields and to get all this content for you. So trust me and believe it or not, when we go out, we do face social anxiety. We do face social pressure. We do face insecurity. We all go through the same feelings. You have to understand that all of us are humans and it's totally okay to have our own flaws. It's totally okay to, you know, go through rough times, go through a rough day. It's totally okay to feel a little bit down, or feel a little bit sad. You don't have to hate yourself. The key here is having some self-love and having some self-compassion, which a lot of people don't really have. They think that if they are learning something or if they are going out, they need to pull every fucking day, which is a complete bullshit uh, expectation to have of yourself. You don't want to have so high expectation of yourself that you always face failures after failures after failures. Understand that the way or the, you know, the method to get into the flow state or the method to gain, to get into momentum or in state is to do something which is not too easy and to do something which is not too hard. You have to find a balance between easy and hard. Okay. So if you're a beginner and if you, you know, if you're just going out and gaming, I don't want you to have an outcome that uh, I'm going out to pull. If a pull happens, then awesome. That's fine. Take it and be happy. But I don't want your entire identity and your entire self image, your entire self confidence to be relying on the fact that whether you are pulling on a consistent basis or not, because you are a beginner and most probably you're going to go out for six months or maybe one year and you're not going to get any pulls. You might get some day twos, you might get some, you know, lays here and there, but you're not going to be very consistent with the results. You're not going to be very consistent with your game. So the key here is doing something which is not very easy and also not very hard. So right now, if you struggle to just approach, then your results or your outcome should be your goal should be that I'm just going to go out and talk to as many people as possible. That's it. 
I have no other goal. I have no other agenda. I have no other outcome. This is the only outcome that I want. If you are a beginner or if you are an intermediate, then uh, your goal should be a little bit different. Your goal should be like, okay, I'm going out. I am getting numbers, but I'm not getting a lot of Insta dates. So your next goal or your next point, next platform should be, uh, you know, being able to get regular Insta dates and being able to get solid numbers. So that is where you should be putting most of your effort towards. If you're an advanced guy, then obviously you should be going for pulling. Obviously you should be going for uh, one day pulls, one day lays, and you should be going for day game pulls, night game pulls, etc. So you have to keep putting yourself in situations that are not too difficult for you and that are not too easy for you. This is how you are going to improve. And you also have to come back home and monitor your results. But this is a side note. This is something that uh, I followed when I was learning and you can take that advice and you can go and apply it in the field. In this video, I want to share what I went through and I want to share the entire process that will help you get into the flow and that will help you get the result that you want. This is the flow process that I follow every day when I go out. This is like my ritual and I follow it every day when I go out to, uh, you know, get out of my overthinking, over analytical, over logical brain and get into my body. I want to connect with the surrounding. This is the process that I follow to get myself into the zone. So I'm going to share of, uh, that process with you in one second. And if you're new to this channel, then uh, I talk about dating, I talk about personal development and I talk about how to build your confidence and social skills. So if you're new here, then please take a moment to subscribe to the channel. Please take a moment to hit the like button and also hit the notification bell so that you can be notified every time I post out some new content, some new infield or some new video. Understand that uh, everything that is going to come out in the future is going to be amazing. You're going to see videos of me coaching. You're going to see the uh, transformation that the students go through. You're going to see a lot of new infields since uh, the COVID is kind of you know going down and people are coming out you're going to see much more amazing and fields in the future so it will be very valuable for you and it will help you into your own learning process so please subscribe uh, please like the video please hit the notification bell and comment what part of the game or what stage of your own game and your own personal development you are in i'm going to be reading all the comments and i'm going to be uh, having discussions and conversations with all the comments everybody who has followed also, uh, check out my Instagram. It is Menoverse, M-E-N-O-V-E-R-S-E. I also post a lot of helpful tips and behind the scenes that uh, what I'm doing, the kind of stuff that I'm working on. So you'll be able to relate to me a lot. You'll be able to find out what kind of person I am and you'll be able to, you know, get the dates of upcoming boot camps and upcoming events. So if you want to be in touch with me and talk to me and uh, know what my personal life is like, then follow my Instagram. That being said, let's move into the next part of the video. This part is going to be some infields and I want you to watch the infield and I want you to see how I am being socially, you know, uncalibrated, how I'm being introverted and how I'm being shy, how I'm not being, being very confident, how I am not being very attractive, I'm not being very alpha. These are some infields that uh, you're going to watch me getting rejected. So this is the example of bad game and this happens a lot with everybody. We don't always just wake up and we are not always in the zone. So sometimes you go out, sometimes you have to go through some initial rejections and some initial state changes, some initial processes. So go out and watch the infield. And after that, we are going to be talking about uh, what that process is to get yourself into the flow. Hi, excuse me guys. Hi, I'm sorry. I left the look. I left the entire person is like look. I am Rahul. What's your name? Yeah. Are you from Bangalore? Are you guys from Bangalore? Yeah. How did you get the, you know, the fashionable cool lenses, the cool party or something? Yeah. I mean, yes. no, I, I went and I bought it. That's also mm. yeah. Yeah. But yours is blue. Can you like see clearly through the blue yeah, glasses? Yeah, it's totally clear. Okay. <laughs> yours is black, yours is blue. So you worn according to the dress, yeah. according to the mask you're wearing. So it has yeah. to match, right? Yeah. Awesome. What do you guys do? Uh, we just came to like help a friend out of the stall. And with the? Oh, like stall, yeah. Oh, like with the stall? What we're doing. We are like in, I'm in 10th. I'm in 11th. You are in 10th and you are in 11th? Yeah. Why? <laughs> okay. Nahi bhaiya. Diabetes. Chal, nice to meet you guys. Are you guys, uh, do you guys come out here often on MG Road? Sometimes I come and play out here. What do you play? You sing or you play I'm guitar? in a band. You're in a band? Yeah. So you're probably the drummer of the band? No, I'm the bass. 
Yeah. You're the bassist of the band. Yeah. Oh, awesome. And what do you play? I don't. You don't play anything. <laughs> you should start playing drums. That's how I started playing. Oh, I, I want to learn drums actually. Drums are pretty cool. Once you get the hang of it, yeah. they are pretty cool. How tall are you, man? Five seven. Yeah, no, you're not five seven. You're I'm as tall as me. Five six and a half. I guess. You are. Yeah, no, that's something. Enough. Somebody has lied to you. Do I? Yes. You are not five seven. What do you? You are definitely do? five nine or something. Really? Yes. No. I feel like. You are like five seven, five eight. You are like. Five, I am five, five nine. Four. So I know that you're five. Nine. Yes. What do you do? Uh, right now I'm starting something of my own. I'm starting my own YouTube channel. I'm starting my own business kind of. That's right. Yeah. So that's it. I'm a content creator. Nothing interesting. What's your YouTube channel? Ah, uh, right now we're building it. Oh. So right now we're in the process of getting some editors, and getting some cameras, setting up a lot of stuff, right? What yes. kind of content like do you create? What kind of content? I'm gonna create content with uh, men's style, oh, okay. um, fashion, dating, right. and the personal development, etc. These things. Right. Yes. Okay. Do you approve? Do you disapprove? Approve. Yeah, approve. Oh, okay. okay. Thank you. You guys are gonna be the first clients that I ever meet. <laughs> okay. What are you guys doing right now? We have to get some food for my friend to set up a such store. Where? Over there? Yeah. yeah. That way. Okay. Yeah. You could have just swiggied it, zomatoed it on your way. We could have. But, <laughs> but like we also okay. wanted to walk. Right? I still can't believe that you guys are in like tenth and eleventh. <laughs> you guys totally look like you are either working or either either, either, either in college. We get that a lot. Yeah. Okay. Sure. You grew up like pretty, yeah. pretty quick. Yeah. When I was in tenth, I was very small, yeah. very skinny, super stupid, very retarded guy. All I used to do was just like you know ride bikes and do some stunts. That's it. And then I <laughs> got into a lot of trouble. Then I decided. How old are you right now? Like twenty three. You think I'm 23? I think like you look 19. like you're in your 20s. 19. No. 19. No. no. Okay. 27. Yeah. Yes. That's yeah. Wow. Yeah. Wow. You're like 10 years older than me. You are 20. I'm 17. And 16. I turned 15. You turned 15. Okay. I should not really not be talking to you guys. It's uh, I'll go to hell. It's a sin. So that's why right now I'm gonna avoid eye contact at all costs. <laughs> So nice to meet you. Yeah, nice to meet Keep you. being awesome, okay? Yeah, you too. Yes, and grow up fast so that we can meet up again. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Tell. Ah, oh, hi guys. Are you guys playing something here? No, no. Nope. My stall is here. You have a stall. Yeah. Oh, what are you selling? Uh, uh, it's all those artistically paintings. Kind of. Which kind of paintings? It's like mm -hmm. painting. Like oh, paintings. Yeah. Oh, that's interesting. <laughs> There are a lot of painters today and musicians today out here. Yes. Yeah. What do you guys do? You guys do this full time? Uh, no, like I don't do it full time. Mm -hmm. Okay. So I do it every Saturday. Oh, awesome, But awesome. This is the last weekend. This is the last weekend. This is gonna happen. Yeah. What? You're here for the first time. No, I'm here for the third time. Oh. <laughs> so I knew that it was going to happen today. That's why I came. Okay. But then again. You told me that this is the last weekend. This is gonna happen. Tomorrow is the last day, right? So that kind of breaks my heart a little bit. I'm looking for some people I could not find. Everybody is getting lost. Somebody fun, you know. Somebody who can, somebody who can buy me ice cream. Somebody. <laughs> Chalo, you guys are just strolling, walking around or what? Yes. I like your, I like the boots. It's like heavy metal. No, it feels like that. But you're not a heavy metal person, right? You're not like take a guitar and then ta 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 na ta na. Okay. Because you look very. I'm sorry. What's your name? My name is Rahul. Rahul. Yeah. You guys are? Yeah. Oh, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Yes. Hi. Hi guys. Two seconds. Sorry to interrupt you. Is this for TikTok or something? No, this is not for TikTok. Acha, are you guys into college or school? You guys into college? You look very <laughs> like you are in eleven, twelve. Yeah. Are you guys from Bangalore? Yeah. I'm not selling anything. It means that nigga is with me. You look like you don't lean or talk to a lot of people. So 
What? Nothing. I'm just waiting for some friends here. So I'm just getting bored because nothing is happening in the area. Yes. So uh, I'm Rahul. What do you guys do? Or <laughs> I'm like studying undergrad. You are studying undergrad, as in engineering. No. So liberal arts. Liberal arts. Oh, arts as in everything: music, dance. No. Like the subjects in humanities. In humanities. Okay. So you guys are just. You are making a TikTok video, right? No, there's no TikTok. There is no TikTok. Okay. We're just bored, and we have to leave off. Yeah, I know it's boring. So why do you guys come out on Friday? Like Saturday is better day to come out. I don't know. We just came. You just came. We have free time. You have free time. Acha. What's your names? That is a very Bollywood name. She is looking at a meme and life laughing. Are you looking at a meme? You are taking pictures, okay? Fine. I don't have anybody to take pictures of me. I'm so sad about this, you know. Your friends are coming, so I'm sorry. Who? Oh, they are very bad photographers. So it's good to have no photographer, or either you should have a photographer. Yeah. Yes. Okay. It's okay. Let's go. We need to go. You need to go. Yeah. Chal, nice to meet you guys. Have fun. Take care. Bye bye. So I hope you enjoyed the interview and you got a lot of value out of it and you saw how I am struggling to go out and approach and to go out and you know hook their attention, hook somebody and do good game. So again this happens with everybody. As I've already told you that a lot of people see just one side of the coin or just hear one side of the story and they start to think that dating coaches or people who are advanced they never face any problems while going out and meeting people which is completely not the case. I have already shown you the other part or the part of the story that has not, you know, always been told to you. People don't want to uh, tell you that they also face the same things because in your eyes, they are going to go a little bit down. So it's a basic, it's, it's a very common uh, psychological thing that happens with people. But I want to show you and I want to share what is going on behind the scenes how I am actually getting myself into the momentum and how I'm actually getting myself into the zone. So the first thing that I want you to understand is when we are going out, we are using the energy of the crowd to get ourselves in the momentum, to get ourselves in the flow and to get in the state. We are literally taking energy from the crowd. We are literally interacting with the entire environment. And this is how I can put out or I can you know, express my entire personality without any filters. So the point of this entire method or the point of this entire process, the five step process that I'm going to share with you is just to break all the filters and communicate authentically. It's just to go out and express myself the way I want to express, say what I want to say, do what I want to do, lead the way I want to lead. So the first thing that you have to understand is we are using the energy of the crowd. So for it to work, you have to go somewhere which is crowded. You have to go at a place where the crowd is good, where there is fun vibe in the crowd, where the environment is a little bit high energy and a little bit fun. You don't want to be doing it in your office. You don't want to be doing it, you know, near a very, you know, a residential area because you will not see a lot of crowd there and a lot of people there are just going to be in a very negative kind of mindset. So you want to be at places like Hotchkiss, like at CP, like our DLF Cyber Hub. If you're in Bangalore, then you can check out places like Church Street or Kormangla or uh, MG Road or Indranagar. These are the places where you will find good crowd, where you will find people with good energy. And what we are literally doing is we are interacting with them and we are opening ourselves one step at a time. So try to imagine an onion, okay? An onion is very layered. There are a lot of layers to an onion. So what we are literally doing is we are peeling the layers of the onion so that the core personality can come out. Understand that? I'm going to say that once again. We are literally peeling layer by layer of our own personality just like an onion so that the center or the core of our personality and the core expression can come out. This is literally the difference between going out and trying to impress versus going out and trying to express. So I want to focus and put my attention and an energy on expressing, not on impressing. And this is how I do it. The step one of the five step process is approach all within three seconds. 
So the first rule of game is you have to open within three seconds because if you don't then your mind will come up with excuses and it will get, get harder and harder and harder. So approach as soon as you see and after the approach calibrate yourself according to the situation. But approach in three seconds or less. Approach somebody as soon as you see them. It doesn't matter if they're a girl, if it's a guy, if it's a group, if there is an old auntie or if it's a shopkeeper. If I'm in the environment, I'm going to be interacting with the entire environment. I'm going to be treating the entire environment as one set. I'm going to be treating the entire venue as one big set. So I'm going to be talking to everybody. I'm going to be talking to people who are having fun. I'm going to be talking to people who are just walking or shopping something. I'm going to be talking to shopkeepers. I'm going to be talking to girls. I'm going to be talking to guys and I'm going to be having fun with a lot of them. Okay, now I'm not going to do this indefinitely. Obviously, I'm going to do it for a certain amount of time. So usually my first, you know, three to five approaches, this is what I'm doing. I'm just going up to people and having fun with them. I'm just interacting with them and I'm not doing any game. This is very important. I'm approaching all within three seconds. It doesn't matter if it's a guy or a girl or a group or an uncle or auntie or a shopkeeper. I'm approaching all within three seconds and I'm just having fun with them. I'm just having small talks with them. That's it. The second stage is minimize time between interactions. So you don't want to be out of an interaction or a conversation for more than like two, two minutes, three minutes, five minutes. Okay, because if you approach a girl or if you approach somebody and then you just come out of the approach and you just keep walking for like next 15 minutes or 20 minutes, what's going to happen is your energy will go down again to the baseline. You want to be continuously pushing your energy a little bit higher and higher and higher with every other approach. So do not be out of the conversation for more than, you know, one or two minutes or three minutes. Try to minimize time between different interaction. So if I did my first approach, then I'm not going to come out of that approach and wait for like 20 minutes or half an hour to do a next approach. I'm going to be jumping into the next approach as soon as possible. Again, following the first rule, open all within three seconds as soon as you see somebody. So the second rule is minimizing time between interaction. The third step of this five step process is no judgment. Don't judge yourself after coming out of the interaction and don't judge the girl or the person that you're talking to. Because if you start to judge somebody, then your focus will go on, you know, how bad people are or what is the negative energy of the environment. And you don't want to focus on that. You want to actively brainwash and you want to actively manipulate your attention to the place that it gives you a lot of value and that it can get you into momentum. So we want to be result oriented. We want to be doing everything that can give us the result that we want. So the third step is don't judge yourself and the girl. Like the girl means like you know, anybody that you're talking to. Do not judge yourself negatively or the other person. Take every experience and take every interaction and every approach, no matter how good or bad it is, as positive. Say this to yourself that I'm taking action and that is a good thing. I am going to get some rejections and that's completely fine. I understand the process. I am going to enjoy the process. I am going to be okay with all the rejections and all the bad reactions that I'm getting. So do not judge yourself and do not judge the girl. The fourth step is do not fake a persona. When you're going out and when you're talking to a lot of people, this is the fourth step and this is one of the most important steps of the entire five step process. Do not play a character, okay? Do not pretend to be somebody who you're not. So if you are generally a little bit low energy guy like me, I'm not a very high energy guy, like, okay? Like if you see Shitish or if you see like Julian, he's a very high energy guy. He like is a little bit obnoxious. He's a little bit over the top and that's fine. That is their personality. That is not my personality. I am a little bit calm. I am a little bit grounded. I am, you know, a little bit like just natural. So I don't want to be faking myself. So if I'm talking to you like this, I'm not all of a sudden start to, you know, jump and sing and dance. I'm not going to be like, hey, what's up? What's your name? My name is Rahul. It's nice to meet you. How are you doing? Where are you guys going today? I'm not going to be doing all this shit, right? right? Because I can do it, but that is not who I am. And if I'm going to be doing it, I'm going to be putting out bad energy in the environment. And in return, I'm going to be getting bad energy from the environment. So I want to be myself. I want, don't want to play a character. I don't want to play a persona. Also, I don't want to go very scripted. I have a general idea in my mind of what interaction should be like. 
yes, I go out and open, then I focus on hooking and creating some value, then I sort out logistics, then I build comfort, then I lead, then I baby step, then I pull or then I take the number, then I take them on an instant. I understand the process, but I'm not very analytical, I'm not very logical of when I'm going from step one to step two to step three. I understand how game works, open hook, vibe, close model or whatever model you you know, you support or you endorse to. It doesn't matter. You understand that game is going to happen and I'm not going to play a persona. I know a general structure, but I'm not going to be very structured. I'm not going to be very canned. I'm not going to be using lines. I'm going to be saying the things that are coming out of my mouth and that are coming in my mind. I'm not going to put a lot of filters on what I'm doing, what I'm saying, on the kind of jokes that I'm making. It's okay if a lot of people don't like it. I'm completely fine with people not liking me, but I'm not fine not being myself. I'm completely okay if I get some negative reactions, but I'm not comfortable and I'm not okay if I'm pretending to impress them or if I'm putting up a song and dance just to entertain them. I want to express, not impress. This is the fourth step of uh, getting into the flow. The fifth step is with every other approach, keep uh, inducing or keep uh, adding a little bit more of game, a little bit more of flirtiness, a little bit more of uh, intentions, a little bit more of leading and a little bit more of, you know, fun and charisma. With every approach, go in a little bit, uh, you know, more bold, more aggressive, more to the point, more direct. So with every approach, your energy will kind of open up and you will feel better. Take that better energy, take that positive emotions and go into the next approach and then build yourself from there. So here is a quick example that I can give you. When I go out and let's say that I'm not feeling very confident. Let's say that I am feeling insecure and I'm not in the zone, I'm not in the state. This is the first thing that I do. I don't want to be doing something which, which is very easy. For example, the easiest thing to do is not approach at all. I'm not going to be doing that. And I'm also not going to be aiming for the highest thing possible. Like for example, if I'm in the daytime, I'm not going to be aiming for a one day pull for the first set. I'm going to be doing something which is not too easy, not too hard. That is how you get into the state. Let's say if I'm feeling low, if I'm feeling a little bit shy and introverted, I'm going to be using indirect openers. I'm going to be like, hey, excuse me, I just came here and I'm looking for a cool place to hang out with my friends. Can you guys uh, give me some suggestions? Okay. Okay. Thanks. Nice to meet you. Have a good day. Bye-bye. Then I'm going to go in my second approach. Hey guys, what's up? Uh, do you know a good place to party around here? Because I've been searching for this place and that place and uh, I don't know where to go. Then they're going to be like, uh, go to social or go to Boho or go to this club or that club. Then I'm going to be like, uh, I already checked out that club. The thing is uh, that club has a lot of old people in it. So I don't want to be there. Can you tell me something which is a little bit more happening where the crowd is a little bit better because I'm kind of new in the city and just, I just want to meet new people and hang out with my friends. Then, okay, thank you so much for telling me. Have a good day, bye-bye. Then the third approach I'm going to be doing is going to be a little bit more direct. I'm going to be like, hey, excuse me. Uh, I know this is very random and I'm sorry if I'm just disturbing you or interrupting your time, but I just wanted to come up and tell you that uh, you look amazing and I like your style. My name is Rahul, what's your name? Then the fourth approach I'm going to be doing is going to be a little bit more direct. Like, hey, excuse me, I just saw you and you look very cute. My name is Rahul, who are you? So this is how I'm going to slowly build up my own expression. Okay, understand that being expressive is a muscle. The more you do it, the better that muscle becomes. The more you, you know, focus and the more you practice and the more you exercise that expressive muscle, okay, the freedom of expression, expressing yourself as you are the better you are going to do with women and the better you are going to do in life in general so don't want to be impressing you want to be expressing and again follow this five step process to get into the flow and to unleash your natural personality unleash the most attractive part of yourself and become confident in like 10 minutes or 15 minutes right sometimes it can take like 30 minutes but don't worry that's completely fine the more you practice the easier it will get Okay, so let me recap everything once again. The first step is open all within three seconds. See somebody, open. See somebody, open. Don't make excuses. Open with indirect if you're not feeling very good. Open with a directional opener if you're not feeling very good. That's completely fine. The second thing is minimize time between interactions. 
do not be out of a conversation or out of an interaction for a very long time so you want to be opening somebody and then go into the next set then go into the third set then go into the fourth set you want to be constantly getting yourself into new conversations third step is do not judge yourself and do not judge the girl or any person that you're talking to everything is fine take everything as positive everything is a part of process and everything is there for a reason you can learn from every experience so don't see anything as negative or bad judge everything as positive reframe everything in your mind as a positive experience the fourth step is do not fake a persona when you're going out you don't want to be putting up a song and dance just to impress people you want to be authentic and you want to talk the way you naturally feel and the fifth step is uh, with every another approach keep building your game and keep building your intention a little bit more so be a little bit more flirty with every other approach be a little bit more direct with every other approach try to lead a little bit more with every other approach at first start sweet and you know start simple and sweet start with um, small talks and random conversations and then as you progress through your journey as you progress through these five stages these five steps then be a little bit more outgoing be a little bit more aggressive and go for the kill this is the five step process that i used to get myself into the zone and to unleash my full personality out and then i have such a good energy i have such a good vibe that everybody i'm talking to instantly wants to be friends with me everybody i'm talking to instantly finds a connection with me because i'm having so much fun and i'm in the zone i'm in the state and everybody wants to be a part of that so i hope you really enjoyed this video and once again if you are new to this channel and if this video uh, gave you some kind of value or gave you some kind of new information then please take a moment to hit the subscribe button share this video in your groups or with your friends or in other whatsapp groups or telegram groups or wherever you are take a moment to like the video and hit the notification bell so that uh, i can reach out to as many people as i want and the community can grow bigger also if you have any personal questions then let me know in the comments if you are stuck at a stage in your own game and your own personal development then write them down in the comments i am going to be replying to all the comments that uh, you guys post down there and it's going to be a very easy way for us to interact that being said thank you so much for watching you can find more about me on instagram my instagram is maneverse m e n o v e r s e uh if you want to know more about my personal life and you want to talk to me or if you want to connect to me just message me and follow me on instagram i will be there for you thank you so much for watching the video again i hope you go out and apply this i hope you learn a lot from this video rewatch this video if you have to but understand everything that i'm sharing in this video this video is an important video for everybody it doesn't matter where you are in the game this video is very helpful and this video will really help your game out so thank you so much have a nice day bye bye